Bags with Horror Lies. Welcome back to Body Bags. This is week number 441. This is a random week. I'll be your host, Jason from Horrific Nightmares. And today we're going to be talking about Amulet. Amulet is a 2020 film which runs approximately 99 minutes and is written and directed by Ramola Garay. Now, they only had one short to their credit. This stars Korea Jury as Magda. Uh, she was in Blade Runner 2049, Blood, and Brimstone. Alec, and you're going to have to bear with me with the pronunciations. Alec Sirocco as Tomas. He was in The Bike Thief, Chosen, a bunch of TV, and some shorts. And Emilda Staunton as Sister Claire. She was in Maleficent, Paddington, and The Awakening. Now, this had a worldwide gross of $53,019. Okay, Amulet. Amulet is a, is a wild film. And unfortunately, this is going to have to be a short review because there's not a whole lot I can say about this without ruining everything. Basically, you have a, a veteran of war named Tomas who has suffered some kind of trauma, which you get in bits and pieces along the way. Now, he's living in a homeless shelter, even though he seems to be an educated man. And you get bits and pieces of that along the way, too. When there's a fire in the homeless shelter he's living in, he has to, of course, leave, take his belongings. He ends up in the hospital, and from there... He finds that a sister from a church actually helped him, and she was the one that called an ambulance and got him to the hospital. He does seek out the sister to get his belongings back, and she places him in a house. <laughs> it's kind of a weird kind of situation. She places him in a house because he's very handy. Where he doesn't have to pay rent, all he has to do is fix up the house. Now, in this house lives a lady named Magda and her ill mother. That's about all I'm going to be able to say about this film. Um, this is a very slow burn, and I really enjoyed this one. But it's really, really weird. Um, yeah. The director, for only having a short to their credit, did a fantastic job. I mean, the director really knows how to point a camera and get some actual beautiful shots. Because this is one of those movies where you're going back and forth. You're getting bits and pieces of the story as it's seen through the dreams of your main character, Thomas. So it's going back to where he had the trauma, and then it goes back to... You know, when he's living in the homeless shelter, when it, the place catches fire. And it's going back and forth quite a bit. So if you're not into those kind of stories, um, you might want to skip this one. I know my wife doesn't like it when they jump back and forth too much. And this is also a slow burn. And when I mean slow burn, it is a slow, slow burn. But for me, the payoff was phenomenal. Um, I definitely recommend this. I can guarantee you not everybody's going to like it because it is a little, it's, it's a little off. It's a really off movie, but um, I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it a lot. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.